Get a top gun. A top gun is correct. And finally, we have got Stan One Ford. big winner at the Mall Mania. He grabs the Domino Rally, sends the Domino Shipman coming on down. And now, the more video power. power. Video power. Video power, yeah, that's right, word. I've got the ability to make you win. You want the edge, I'll put the power surge. Let her rip. terrific trip for any galaxy gal or guy. You've got to grab your gun and manage your missiles with skill, because it's kill or be killed in this spacey race of thrills. Meanwhile, you need to do your double best to avoid crashing and smashing at every torturous turn along the way. The seed pod spins round and round and round. Its 360 degree rotation could make you too busy to get busy. But if you can blast your way through five far out levels, you just might demolish the command center of the Imperial Power and be Space Kid of the Hour. After that rotation, it's time to take a vacation. Back to you, bud. Cool game, and so, hey, now it's time to put me on the spot, so do it, Tear, do it. 
Oh, thank you, Johnny. Hey, now it's time to put the spot on Johnny by putting... Something like that. <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, we do it every show, and welcome to a Skate or Die Week. We're going to pick four great contestants. Hopefully, I'm not going to go too far to find them. And we're going to do uh, some stumping. You ready to do this, sir? Yeah, you okay? How about you? You ready? Yeah. All right. And how about you guys? All right. Good. What's your name, sir? Eddie Allerman. Eddie, go ahead with your question. In what game do you get feathers dropped on you? Okay, it doesn't rain or snow in the Rescue Ranger game, but you do get some feathery weather thanks to the falling feathers of the owl. Yes. Awesome. What's your name, sir? Michael Mandelo. In Double Dragon 3, what weapons can you get during your quest? Okay, well, you pick up lots of wicked weapons on that worldwide Double Dragon trip. You can get a hold of size to cut your enemies down to size, army knives to protect your lives, and broken bottles of glass to kick your foes right in grass, right in the grass. Two for two, not bad. What's your name? Shanair Perry. Shanair, what do you like to do other than uh, play video games? Swimming and shopping. Well, you don't do that at the same time, do you? No. That'd be kind of weird. I like shopping, as long as it's not your money, right? Okay, go ahead with your question. Can you name three people boy obstacles that start with the letter G? All right, I sure can, because the great arcade is a renowned G-Wiz. The three G obstacles that spring to mind are... One, garbage cans. Two, great. And three shall be... That's right, there's two of them there. Hold on, hold on, you got the first on. one, you were pretty good on the second one. You just need one more there, that's all. Yeah, a greasy just, uh... gardener named <laughs> Gus. I think we stumped him, what do you think? How about a big hand for our lady here, yeah? Yeah, we stumped him. Gee, <laughs> You know, the, the weird part about this, that means, hold it, guys, hold it. That means I got to go to the mall to go shopping, and I, I, I'm i going to really fear this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and a cord. I didn't want to go anywhere. There you go. This is Johnny Arcade's official video yeah. power skateboard. How about a big hand for our lady there? Yeah. What I got. It was skate or die for real. And your name is? Natasha. Natasha, Johnny Arcade, right over there. Stump him. In what game do you have an infrared, infrared vision indicator? Okay, well, you'll find an infrared vision in the game of Quick Decisions, Robocop. When your infrared vision indicator blinks, it's a clue that something special's heading your way. Ooh. Yes, that's the answer. Okay, good, thanks. Now, I don't need to uh, head my way and come down here because the power challenge is headed your way. Come on down right now. So, uh, actually, we'll be back without a bout, so don't you step out to the shallow top, you loud. Come back. Video power will be right back. Oh, finally! We're back! Well, where have you been? You know, you could have called kids today. Huh. Well, enough guilt tripping. Instead, let's go tripping off to the land of today's video power play. Skate or die is the game. Two minutes and two seconds is the time. Two will get to play more. The other two will just fall right through the floor. Okay, guys, grab those controllers. Back to the screen. Here we are. On your maca. Get the seta. Do it, guys. Here we go on a skate or die week. Now, this takes place back in one of my hometowns of California as we take you to the beach. First of all, in number four position, this is Natasha. Now, to Natasha, as well as the other contestants, are plans to build a skateboard ramp. It's either a half pipe or a quarter pipe. And as they work along the beaches, a lot of obstacles to overcome. You're going to get very well uh, along here in Skate or Die. You can see the uh, ramp, there's jump. And along the beach here, it's not so easy all the time. Now, along the way, there's a lot of items to pick up, including munchies like tacos and fries that you'll see in some of the earlier levels. But as we take you to the beach, there's more to reach. Now, let's move on down the line. Here we go to Shanir, right here. We're watching the stats up above here, and of course, it's how many items they pick up. You can see down below, there's tacos and tape as the stats come up every once in a while. Now, Shanir is moving along right here, doing an excellent job. You use your unable to shoot along here, all the obstacles along your way. Some of the characters you might encounter along the way, things like a sewer rats, uh, punching gators, you'll see those in level one. But now we're down to the beach, and let's move on. We're looking at less than a minute to play. Okay, here's the man, Michael. Michael coming in along the beach. He's working the lower level here. We've got an item right here. He'll be working for it. You can grab that very quickly in less than 50 seconds of play. 
He could pull himself out into a lead as the judges watch. They're checking each item collected. He's moving along. He's using his weaponry quite well. Let's move from the number two position. You can see his concentration right here. Man in the number one position. This is Eddie. Eddie is pretty steady as he takes to the top level here. Misses an item down below, but he asks to take it a little further. Whoa! He takes a spill. That slows him down a little bit, but he's moving along in this. Skate or die. Less than 25 seconds of play. Now, who is going to pick up the items in time? Natasha has moved back to level one. She's actually started over the game. Eddie, right here. He is uh, tough luck. Keeps lost the life. Michael jumps out of play. Shanir is the only one still working along the and you can see Natasha over here. She has jumped back to level one. Actually started the game over. A lot of trouble for all our players equally along the way. This is an extremely tough level. You have to be extremely good at skate or dive. Now our judges are taking a look. You can see earlier when we were watching Eddie, he dropped out and then he tried to replay quickly enough. You can see they've got the continuous screen up, but the judges are still calculating each and every one of their takes. Over here, Shanir, she was the only one to be able to hang with the beach. Doesn't mean she picks up a lot of items. In fact, she drops out of play. Over here, Natasha. Oh, unfortunately, now our big winners are Eddie and Michael. Yeah! So is the men. Mike, Eddie. Good job, guys. You wiped those ladies out. How do you feel about that? You feel good? Well, get back there and strap those vests on and, you know, help Terry up if he falls, okay? Be a gentleman. Come on over here, you two little girls. Those guys. Now, they... they poor, I mean, they... They didn't feel sorry for you at all. They just went out there and they beat you, man. What do you have to say about that? Give him a dirty look. Guys. Uh, go on, walk off and play hard, huh? No problem. Okay, let's have some fun with the power pick round right now. Okay there, guys. No mercy on the women at all. No mercy. No mercy. You came here to win, right? Yeah. Guys, give me some John Wayne. Okay, kid. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, right, cowboy. Kid. Good. And how about you, Pilgrim? Nah. Nah. Okay. All right. Power picks round, guys. No mercy on each other here. Five questions. The first two in the music question are worth ten points. The fourth. Are you guys friends? Are you guys friends? Because you keep looking at each other and smiling like, oh, we're in. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Uh, first contestant buzzes in. He gets it incorrect. The second person gets to answer. Simple, easy, efficient. Here we go. Question number one. For 10 points. In Sonic the Hedgehog, what's the name of the first zone? Nobody. Okay, now the three multiple choice answers and only one of you guys gets a shot now. Here we go. A, the Green Hill Zone. B, that dumb zone. Or C, Ted. <laughs> yes. A. A, the Green Hill Zone is correct. And the 10 points is yours. Okay, here we go. For 10 points, question number two. In the immortal, who are the goblins at war with? Nobody. Okay, now the three multiple choice answers, and only one of you guys gets a shot. Here we go. In the immortal, who are the goblins at war with? A, the trolls. B, the giants. Yes. A, the trolls. It's correct. This guy didn't have to hear the last one. He knew it was a troll. He got it right. He's got the 10 points. He is a happy man. It is tied. Here we go. Question number three. Music. Music, music. How about you there, John Wayne? You like it? You're into music? Yeah? Old All right, Western. Partner. Yeah, and how about you? All right, partner, let's hear it there, Steve. You guys name it, you get the points. Go. Yeah, partner. The Immortal. It's correct, partner. Ten points for yours. Good job, man. Here you go. Question number four. With 20 points, listen very close. In the Immortal. What is the name of the book left behind by Mortimer? Okay, I shall repeat the three multiple choice answers and only one of you guys gets a shot. Here we go for 20 points. In the Immortal, what is the name of the book left behind by Mortimer? A, the Tome of the Minotaur. B, the Codex of the Serpent. Or C, the Scroll of the Bumblebee. Yes. B. B is correct. And the 20-point mushroom is yours. Cleaning out on us, buddy. Take a look over here, guys. Okay, a game shall pop up. You identify the game, and you get a special game, okay? I will, I will tell you what it is when you get it. But hit it, Chris. Is it A, untouchables, B, undesirables, or yes? A, untouchables. Is correct. <laughs> and 
in sector X for the Sega Genesis is yours. I'll put it back here because, well, front, you've got no room. Let's add up the score there, buddy. You've got 10. Good job there, uh, Denver Bronco. But John Wayne, you've got the 20, 30, 40 points, and you are the power pick leader. Everybody, let's see this one. Okay, do John Wayne more. Ready? Let's have a draw. Ready? A draw. Ready? Go. Bow, bow, bow. Draw! And we'll be back after this turning colitis of a commercial message. So please tune in. Video power will be right back. You in the heat of the moment, you can fry your opponent in the final power play at 61 seconds on the immortal game. 50 points. Go to the winner here. On your mark, Joan of Arc. Get set, Joan Jet. Do it! Here we go. It's head-to-head -head competition in the final play. Now, one of these guys will go on to the final round. Will it be our man Michael or will it be Eddie? Well, they're both hope steady. Right now, we've just got one minute and one second of play in the final power play as they work our way through the immortal. Now, you have to discover a lot of things here, and they'll give you some clues along the way. The players pick up the most the following items will be a winner. They're looking for like things like Dunrick's ring, uh, chest key, water amulet, worm bait, spores, and the charm spell. As you can see, they're getting some of the general information that includes using uh, Mortimer's notebook, the codex, the serpent that we talked about in the power picks round, and Michael is scrambling as quickly as possible. He's getting a lot of rules here, and that's actually slowing him around. Let's move on down to play. Here we go. All right. Here's Eddie. He's already working his way through this labyrinth here, and he's doing some serious battle. Now, that's part of it. As you move on, take on battle here, and that is what he is doing right now, Eddie. If you can take him down, this could need some serious points with the last final second ticking away. See what I'm talking about. <laughs> we are out of time. All right, now, will it be our man Michael, or will it be Eddie? What do you guys think? You think it's going to be Michael? How about Eddie? Well, our judges are back there deciding right now. Eddie's Michael's screen drops out. Looks like a big winner today is our man, Eddie. You? No. You. Good job. Really good job, man. Eddie, 50 points are yours. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 10 for you. This man is a video power challenge champion. Everybody. Woo! Yes, Terry. Search the prize dash database and tell us what our electronic wonders will be wandering off with today. Well, Johnny, some of our departing guests earlier will receive the game Ulta, among other prizes, and now some promotional considerations. One-on-one, -on -one, the new exciting electronic basketball game lets you play five different games in one package, like One-on-One -on -one Horse, Quick Fire, and many more. It's all from General Sportcraft. Terminator 2, Judgment Day for Nintendo and Game Boy. Based on the Schwarzenegger mega-hit, destroy the ultimate liquid metal Terminator and save the world from Judgment Day. Any time is right for Hershey syrup or chocolate milk mix and milk. When you're ready to enjoy great-tasting chocolate or strawberry milk, say Hershey, please. Yeah, come on over here, man. You did a good job. You had a lot of fun here at Video Power. And we've got some shopping to do. Yes, we do. Well, uh, yeah. Hey, Jordan versus Bird one-on-one. -on -one. Heavy Barrel, LCD Video Game Electronic, and hey, RoboCop, okay? You get three prizes today. This is all yours, buddy. Take it home, take it home. Take Eddie, it home. you ready to take the run? Yeah. Yeah, you're all warmed up, got your warming up suit here. Hey, check, check this out now. If you find the game Dracula's Curse, which is Castlevania 3, it's hidden somewhere in the mall. Steve, what do we got for this lucky guy today? Check it out, Radio Control Pirate Airlift. A whole lot of fun from Nico. Okay, he'll be looking for that secret prize and let the run begin at five, four, three, two, one. Eddie is on the way of them all today. Goes for a Game Boy game, takes on the Punisher. He's taking Super C and he's working the front. Now he's looking for that secret prize and he's so close. Yes, he has the secret prize. He picked it right up. He's got a couple on the door. He goes for more and now he heads up the ramp. Side in the mall of World 1 2. The mall, here we go. He's going for those Game Boy games and now he goes for a tennis. Woo. Down below, he goes for the sports game and now he's moving along the line. He's got plenty of time, checks over his shoulder, and yet he has to play it safe and come on down. As he shoots his games down the tube, he's coming down. Oh, here's what he had in mind. He had the big prize. Come on down here, buddy. Makes his way down the mall in time. Oh, out of time. You know what? Excellent round of play. Come on down here. 
He uh, tried a shopping strategy that didn't quite work for him, but come on over here, buddy. <laughs> I like your move. Did you plan that out? Yeah. Well, you know what? It didn't quite work this time, but we do have a couple of consolation prizes. See, the, the clock ran out to zero, but you know what? We've got some excellent prizes for this man, Eddie. He ain't done yet. He's coming back for the big show on Friday. He'll be another big winner. we got some great prizes for him, but you know what, bud? In the video game world, it's great fun to blast a jade or kill a Koopa or knock out a ninja, but when the game is over, the violence is over. So so, keep in mind, it's only a game. Violence against other people, totally uncool. Please, keep your head. Respect your neighbor. That way, everybody's a big winner. I'm Terry Lee Talk with another big winner of Big Half Hour Video Pro. Yeah! Hey, bud. If you want me to do some tips from your favorite video games or you just want to appear on the show, write to me in five words or more and tell me why you think you should be a contestant on the greatest video game show in the universe. Video Power. Just write to Video Power, P.O. Box 896, Madison Square Station, New York, New York, 10159. Video Power is not affiliated with the manufacturers of any video game system or product. It does not recommend or promote any particular video game system or product. name is Bond, James Bond. Junior, that is. Get set for action, adventure, and all the rest with the cunningest young detective this side of the Atlantic. James Bond, Junior is coming up next on Channel 9.